Oh wait, we're still waiting for someone. That's cool. We can wait. I'm we can sorry wait. About that. No, no, no. It's cool. We've waited for everyone else. Yeah. So. Actually, I'm standing out near the stairs. I thought this was a pot. I thought this was a potluck. I brought roast beef. What do you guys drink? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> but I don't think anyone wants that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Get your ass over here so I can give it to you. Nah. Oh, he's moving now. He's, he's here. He's nearly at the chair. Come on, man. You can do this. Just someone invite some pirates. That's not a chair, Lord. I hear pirates too. I'm sure my guy will. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll have this covered in no time. So, so um, let's just go through everybody's names first. Welcome to the new ship three. We're going to be sitting around the table and discussing some stuff tonight. So I just want everybody to sort of take it in turns to introduce themselves. Obviously, I'm Tamino Sama. Are you guys tell me who you are? I am Zero Sen, CEO of Syntec Dynamics. Do you know what? I think I'm going to take the ship and uh, I'll point it at you. So who's this on the right here? I'm Zero Sen, CEO of Syntec Dynamics. Okay. And who's this? Hey, I'm Awar17. I can't tell who you're looking at. Me neither. I know I'm looking at you, Apex. Oh. Hi, I'm Apex Origin. <laughs> I'm the yard out in Nilsec. Nice. Who's this? Oh, my face. I love the moustache, by the way, Apex. I get stage fright. <laughs> Who's this? Hello, I'm Killer7275. Uh, next to you? I'm CW390. And over here, in the red? I am Lord of Nightmares. And he is actually with us. He's just having a positional problem, and he—you he, are on a chair, aren't you, on your screen? Yes, I'm sitting next to CW. <laughs> right, no probs. And then I guess this will be CW then. Wait, what? Who's this? Over there. Well, I'm so confused because of the flag. Geek, geek ninja. So that's geek. CEO, CEO commander in chief, lead developer of Nest Tech. And then we're back to zero, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, no, now you're a ghost. No, I'm a ghost. Sorry. Hello, ghost. And a frozen. <laughs> nice. Wait, what about that guy over there? What guy? That, guy that random there. guy. What? Where? The guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's your last last sign. <laughs> and of course, Tanuki is uh, taking my place. As obviously, I am the cameraman. So yeah, that's it. Let's uh, let's get this underway. So guys, uh, we'll start off. What do you think of the new shadows feature? It looks cool. I heard the most. Lots and lots of pretties. <laughs> um, I think with the new lighting system, it brings about sort of more of a variety with um, you know sectors in general, like faded lighting depending on how far away you are from the star or even dark sectors where if you're outside of a solar system in general the only light could be light from ships such as glow and uh, like ice crystal and lava so uh, I think that'd be to get away from my face <laughs> that's a cool idea though I like where you were going with that buddy <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I love the new Shadows. I think it's a great step in the right direction because obviously it's going to uh, take our game up a level, which is good. Um, it's interesting how it sort of fades in and out. I've noticed that it looks great up close when you're near stuff, but when you're further away, sometimes you get a bit of a bit of a funny thing going on there. But for the most part, I think it will get better over time as well. This is really funny to see people just popping in and out. <laughs> Look, we've lost another one. <laughs> There's only four of us left now. Yeah, I think I've crashed. <laughs> and then there were four. <laughs> so maybe I should just record a bunch of people sat here and play that looping while we talk. <laughs> I guess they <maybe> don't. <laughs> it didn't look better. No, I should be good for a while. I just failed for my computer to realize yeah. it doesn't have to run. I get it here yes. with your pretty cool. face. <laughs> what? Actually, no, I think I crashed again. Apex. Am I in my seat now? There you are. So what do we um, think about the uh, new texture packs from Kupu? The I, realistic I and the cartoonish. The ones we have now, really. Yeah. I'm, 
I agree with Apex. I'm more of a fan of the defaults over the realist, over the realistic or the cartoonish. Hmm. Yeah, I think if we kind of get the option to choose the old default, that would make me happy. Yeah, we do. We've we definitely do. got that. Definitely. Okay, that's good. Definitely. There's a drop-down list in the launcher when you start off, and uh, you can choose. You can even have high res, low res. It's quite cool. I mean, the texture pack we use now is 64 resolution, so that's hmm. cool. Um, right, so yeah, that's pretty much that. I mean, it'd be interesting to see if that bump mapping support's going to come with uh, uh, the new version. I'd... That's going to be interesting, bump oh. maps. And also, I've got another guy who sent me a texture pack, a clean texture pack today. I've been trying to find it for a while. Um, he commented on one of the videos I released, I think either today or yesterday. So, um, it's quite a simple texture pack. So, I'll be doing the texture pack reviews soon. So. As soon as that launch comes, you know, I'm probably going to do it before they come, you know, just with the dev build. But uh, so, has anybody else got any thoughts on texture packs? Because my own, my last thing to say would be that the realistic texture pack has some great weapon blocks. You know, like not not the hull, the out the out. It's outstanding the animation on the blocks that you're getting for realistic for things like computers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I'll I definitely agree check there. But I know what you're There's saying. Elements of both that I like, and if I actually had the drive to, I would probably combine them into a single yeah. texture pack. A hybrid would be a good shout. Yeah. Yes. That'd be interesting. Uh, right, okay, and then the, the next thing, of course, was uh, just new features. So, what do we think about these new AIs, the NPCs? Um, be interesting. I don't really they know look too suicidal. much about them at this point. And all we know is, we can pick them up from a station and they can do things around your ship and you can only have five, I mean, unless you guys have more information than I do. Well, then. I heard, and I don't know, because I heard, but I don't know this for sure because I haven't been able to do it myself, I like to confirm things myself, but I've heard that the point of having NPCs is so that they can man a computer for you. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, that might that be just... Be cool. Because that would be useful. I mean, I, my imagination is straight away, what? So I can have someone man a drainer and go in with my AMCs. So, straight away. Yeah, alternatively, on big ships, you could have, um, like, sideways facing AMC computers. Yeah, oh, yeah. true. You could act like an AI control, so you could have, like, that would side, be great. Side broadside guns protecting your sides. That would be excellent. The one use I can see Beautiful. for form would be manning fighters that you would not normally put AI on. That's interesting. That's interesting. It's great for roleplay. Yeah, definitely. Well, I like the idea of him going around the ship because even if it was something so simple as if you have five crew members, you get a boost to certain stats. Like maybe uh, the first crew member gives you a boost to shields, the second gives you a boost to power, the third gives you a boost to weapons. And obviously, once they get killed, you lose all your perks. And then it's it makes, you know, who knows? I'm prob that's pure speculation. Don't be surprised if that doesn't happen, because <laughs> that's pure speculation. Yeah. Or be able to, or be able to get like a certain like go to a shop and actually hire someone to hire a weapon specialist or an engineer to help keep your vehicle or mm. well mm. and check and make sure it's working functionally. It'd be good if the AI could man a build block and fix your ship on the go. Well, uh, back Interesting, yeah. to the number of AI that is we can get, which many believe is just five and only five. Five, that's what we've thought, that's what we've heard, yeah. What it's I understood from it man. is that we can have as many AI on our own ships and stations as we want, but we can only control up to five at a time. Well, that yeah. makes things a bit different, you know. Because That's a big difference. You could have a crew of like 20 on a big capital ship, but you can only pick five to go down and say, like, an away team to a planet or another station. Yeah. You can have an unlimited amount of AI at your base, but you can only take about five with you. Yeah. Something that I think is going to be interesting is it says that. Five. It says that um, this is all going to be done from stations, right? So yeah. Um, oh, really <laughs> so um, it's all going to be done from stations, right? So it's going to be interesting to see how stations and structures in the game in general change. Most of us kind of use stations to test our weapons. So 
if we end up testing our weapons on a station, is that going to piss off the AI? Is it going to like you know annoy the trading guilds? What's going on there? Yeah. So one it's of the factions we discovered. Yeah. Hmm? That's a one good of the point. Settings we discovered is that the difficulty for the AI can actually be set to straight up mean, which is beyond hostile. Yeah, I didn't. I yeah, I did. No, it does say mean. Actually, there's another setting above hard. You're right. Yeah, I think that starts off with the AI as um, auto hostile, or if you so much as piss them off, it's the same as declare war on hostile action. Well, it sounds like a good idea. I mean, like an ultra hard mode wouldn't be such a bad thing at this point. I mean, I, I, I would have thought it would be easier to have a waiting system for the blueprints the pirates are using and then spawn them in in escalated waves. So, like, you start off with cheap pirates and you end off with expensive ones. So then there's none of this Damocles is being spawned in on noobs. But hey, we're still early on, aren't we? Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, I would like to see my tips go and kill people. Even yeah, true. I didn't mean your. I mean, like the Hell Tech Damocles. We had a big problem with the game just spawning. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's an example yeah, of something. I'm like... This is an example of something that someone uploads, doesn't set up the permissions right, logs out, and never comes back to play again. And obviously, then we have to deal with it when it gets spawned by the game. But anyway, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see how the new difficulty settings work for sure. <clears throat> Apex. Well. I have a question. Yes, yeah, sweet cheeks. Ah. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. Could you bring me over then? Because I'm kind of far away. Alright, give me a second. We're in the new ship. Alright. Wow, my face is derpy. So then. <laughs> What's next on the agenda? The new block shapes. I remember speaking to him in the uh, chat box once and he said he would do his best and I reckon he has. I mean I've checked it out in the dev release and we've got every colour of hull and hardened hull in every shape now. So the tetrahedrons are going live. Um, what are your feelings on that? I'm quite curious about the tetrahedrons because from what I saw from the screenshots they look quite derpy. I mean I have no idea what they're going to do. Well what it is okay if you were to imagine right now we have a um, we have a block we have a wedge and we have a pyramid corner okay but it has a square base and that's the key thing the new um, corner piece has a triangular base which yeah, means I, so, I so you're, the, like, yeah yeah but if you were to stack them up diagonally to make a plane on that surface uh, you need the tetrahedron's little corner to go in between them you know you I alternate that that's what the tetrahedron's for tetrahedron. yeah so i'm just well, trying to be vague but yeah like it is it, like i say i made a little surface with it and it, it basically means that we'll be able to make flat angled surfaces on angles which we haven't been able to yet so it'll be a game changer i think in terms of design but it'd be interesting um, to see how we use it. Greatly. It's one of the things that's actually got me stopped as far as actual ship construction is I'm waiting on those blocks. I've been leaving holes where they're, where they're going to go. It's that much. It's, you know, I've been going, yep, it's going here. So, <laughs> you know, it's going to be great for detailing, great for big, sh big shapes. It's going to be great. I think you got something stuck on to your window screen. Hey. The Oh, I, stuck on the oh, I can't I'm see it. Go show him the way in. Yeah. Oh, is he out yeah, pressed? Yeah, He's got his yeah, nose on pressed on the glass. Uh oh. Tom, you still need to send your son uh, in crashed. Uh, Say target me. Say what? Yeah, I'm back. She's you still, crashed. You still need yeah. to send uh, Tanuki an invite to Mushroom. Oh no, he's going to have his own faction. That's the rules here. Oh, okay. And it'll be used <laughs> for <laughs> hang him high. Angles for. Uh, uh, angles for plex doors. I don't know, but it has been suggested. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of suggestions in, and I don't have any influence on what goes in. All I can say is that if there is a consensus, the chances are it will go in. You know, if there's a lot of people that want it, then it will be considered seriously. That seems to have been the pattern so far. Um, I mean, is there anything that you think that the game could? 
you know, any ideas that you guys have had? I don't mean like outlandish ones. I mean like glaringly obvious that you've seen work in another game. Because at the moment I can't think of any really off the top of my head. Anything I've thought, thought of is either already been taken into account of or is already underway in dev. Uh, how about the functioning structure tab for bases? Structure tab for bases. That seems like a fair request. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it, if it would if it's easy to do, and it doesn't take him off of his plan. I mean, if it's on his plan already, that's grand. I always like them to stick to their plan. They always have a plan, devs. So it's like, if it doesn't derail the plan, and it ain't on there, that's a good idea. I mean, you've, I was surprised when we didn't have it to be honest, because there's doors on your station, and it'd be useful to be able to open hangar doors remotely. And the lights, being able to turn off the lights. Turn off the lights as well, yeah. Oh, but does anybody know if we can turn off lights as a group? No, we cannot yet. Hmm. Because I thought you could do that. The that we have right now isn't functional. That's a shame. Because I was... Because in just the same way as the close all, open all doors button, maybe turn off and on all lights might be an interesting one. Because it would give the... give You could make it look like the ship's not powered up. For example, yeah, I don't know. Uh, turn off all the lights when we run Yeah, true. There's that as well. Ah, oh, here's an idea. Hmm. Signs. Signs, yeah. Because at the moment Signs we have to use a. Nice. At the moment we have to use a core with a faction block. Name the core and dock it to a station or a or a ship. It's the only way you can do. Because uh, uh, then when you press F you can read the message, but you're limited by the length of the entity name Or uh, however much you can fit on the screen You literally have to, at the point where <coughs> you'd have to like, protect the entire sector and Yeah And the ship there or a station that's completely mobile And then, yeah. uh, you know, building this out It would be interesting to have a block that could display some scrolling text maybe, would that make sense? Yeah. Um, yep. Something else that would probably be more feasible to do with the current state of the build would be taking one of the decorative blocks that doesn't really have a purpose now and then putting an interface on it that is the same as the logbooks. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I think we should jump off of speculation and uh, suggestion and get back on to the new features. So, we've got creatures inbound. Has anybody got any info on them? No. Nope. Uh, just Dave and his crew. That's all we have so far. Because I know it's planned and I know it will randomly generate. I mean, I've got, I've, I've heard that they could be brown and have lots of legs, but I don't know if this is... Uh, I, the last update I, I saw. I don't know if this is confirmed. The last update I saw on them was confirmed about a year ago on the forums by um, a Schema. Right. And uh, yeah. the only update was is that um, Beetle Bear was working on them. And uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the update I heard, the update I, I heard has been since Beetle Bear was long gone. So hopefully oh, it is good. still on. Yeah, that's encouraging then. Because to be honest, I, I've got to admit, it seems like every week there's a new announcement of a new feature that none of us knew about, and the other features that we've been waiting for are still coming. <laughs> Which is fun, you know, because it means that when it does, go, and, and also you've got to look at the size of the build, it's doubled. Have you noticed it's gone up to 112 meg now? <laughs> Oi, yeah, you lot, yeah. sort it out. <laughs> Yeah, fail. I don't want to have to shoot you. What is going on, Anna? Some kind Nothing. of Nothing. some kind of master slave thing going on down the other end of the table. That was all was done. My skin changed. And there was me thinking I could live stream this format. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the no, way. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. So, I think that's pretty much. We, we've missed out loads of stuff, haven't we? Come on, gravity elevators, Weapons. guys. We haven't got. To, we're, we're getting there. We're getting to that. Don't trust me. I'm trying to save that for last. I've been working in elevator shafts, as it were, for the new gravity system in my station. Yep. I've, I attempted it recently in a capital ship. I never got finished with it, but with uh, gravity elevators within a moving ship. Very nice. 
Anybody else dabbled? Well, I had this idea around, uh, kind of thrown around where I could have an indicator uh, color set for. I don't know if somebody else did this earlier or was talking about it earlier either, but uh, have a uh, like color indicator for a different floor. So uh, yep. before you hit the gravity unit, you hit like a uh, flex door next to an ice crystal or flex door next to a lava block. Nice. Um, and then that's, that's a good system. Door for that level. Fail. <laughs> it, weapons are not allowed in this room. I don't have no, a weapon. No, that was me getting into oh, was it? so he would behave. Oh, okay, fine. No, to be fair, let him carry on, mate, because it's something to look at while we're all talking. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to make a prat of himself. <laughs> hey, I don't know what they were doing. They could have been uh, dancing. Well, yeah, he... <laughs> dear, oh dear. Don't you run away from me. Sorry, mate. When you, do you want to repeat that? That was the one I was thinking with the uh, color for the flex doors. So you yep. know which door is what, and then uh, you hit the flex door for that kind of Kick from the server. <laughs> Whoops. Well, you see how it is. Whoops. I accidentally, uh, I accidentally <laughs> typed your name in there, bro. You already have it set. <laughs> oh. And also, by the, yeah, sorry to spoil your fun, Apex. Also, by the way, I don't know if anybody else noticed, nobody else seems to have noticed this yet, but in the dev build, we have autocomplete on commands, including player names now. So you just type the first letter of the player name and hit tab, and it'll auto-fill their name. I love that. To me, that is like a migraine, that's like a migraine trigger cure right there. And I'm not referring to the weapon system. I always love yeah. that. In Minecraft, because you could be, you could look so sophisticated when you're talking to someone who has like a complicated name with a bunch of numbers, and you're like, "Hey, so and so," and then you have their full name typed out exactly how it's spelled. Yep. What's going on? <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> shot. Who's shooting? Who's Sorry, shooting me? Clicked. Oh right. <laughs> Is that a bit like? <laughs> It shoots. Yeah, I've noticed yeah. that. Have you also noticed that when you're entering your blueprint name, that you move around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway. If you enter a name for anything, you move around. <clears throat> so, what else is there? Obviously, we've got moving turrets back already, which is nice. We can get in our Dumb player turrets. Originating from camera blocks. That is a I godsend. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yay. Dark in heaven. All of my it's like. Possible to dock something more than a hundred meters long from the core. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. The possibility, because that's the only excuse for why people can't dock their ships right now, and that's going to be gone. So I can't wait for that. Yay! It'd oh, be yeah. nice to make a to make it so that it can docks at that point too, so you can make a turret that docks at the bottom, but you don't have to have the core at the bottom. Or you could make your ship. Yeah. I don't I don't mind though because otherwise it would be too easy to just take a bunch of your frigates and attach them to your battleship at the moment being a having that having that restriction means that you have to rebuild your turret and then you're going to build it differently if you know what I mean yeah. but it, uh, yeah if that happens you could build a toy with the coal surrounded on all sides with holding whole some other material that would make it extremely difficult to kill a toy. It's but true, yeah. It still has to have an exposed core on the bottom to be docked. They have a weak point, that's the thing, you know, and you can try to build around that with the ship design, but ultimately there is a weak point, which is nice. Yeah. yeah but true. no, the core being exposed is hard-coded hard ink to turret docking. You cannot work around that without deactivating validation. And also, with all the changes to turrets, the last thing I would want is for another rewrite on that, because I know he already put in like a month of dedicated dev time just on the docking system, so for him to then go back and rewrite it all would almost be like saying that that was useless work, if you know what I mean. And it, yeah. does, it does work, so... I was just hoping to see something like how you dock a hidden bird. Dirigible to the tip. You, you don't duck it. But you don't have without having to have the core at the tip. 
I always thought like um, a block that allowed things to turn other than on turrets would be quite cool. Like another dock that allowed the another thing to rotate, you know? Similar to similar to motor blocks. You know, similar to the motor blocks in Space Engineers. If you've seen that. Is he back? That would be nice because then we could build more dynamic turrets that are fixed to the ship instead of being separate entities altogether. Yeah. Not only that, but more compact door than what we have now. On a second thought to the door, is it maybe like some sort of force field thing for like carriers or stations where you can fly through it, but you can't shoot now. Um, technically you can already do that with plex doors, just leave the plex doors open. You cannot shoot through plex, open plex doors, they still register the block there. True, but then you might have the issue with them running and closing, or, you know. And force fields, you might add, like, sort of like water blocks, but it has a little blue glow or something, so like ice crystal. Kind of yeah. add something to your ships and stations. You can do that with the block editor. Yeah, um, the way StarMate is right now, you can modify a um, water block with the same principles you're talking about. Call it steam. Oh, oh, oh god, ow. Oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> I just got killed. <laughs> oh god, take oh, cover. God. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Well, no, I don't have to pay him. Alright, I'll save. Hell. <laughs> I was just testing I out my dual wielding. Uh, <laughs> Clear the <fire> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. The more barrels you yeah, have, take the less the aim you do have. Sorry, I'm not very good with the left hand. There was a bit of a friendly fire incident there. <laughs> yeah. Look on the right side. Now I don't have to pay him. <laughs> hey, I got a suggestion. Was I there a money drop? <laughs> Did you get the money back? Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Domino, isn't, isn't the point of shutting your hey, door behind you once all the guests are in? Yeah, we should have done what? that. I'm going to fire. Hey, let's have a fire. We got more visitors now. Oh, dude. I just started the recording. Yeah. yeah. That's why I didn't say so anything else. Language. Can you uh, tell us what you're not bad language? It is a type of bully excretion. <laughs> I got him. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody trying to get in and I've just shut them out? <laughs> no. Possibly. Who are we waiting for? Well, I had to tell the board back. Can I get the You did back? kill him. It's alright, we're nearly done now. You can just continue talking from there if you wish. If you want to put your uh, thoughts in. Let me just think Speaking now. from beyond the grave. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fel's still with us in spirit after being uh, knocked off. Yeah. We're going to be uh, I think I'm right. Thing, anyway. One thing that I think to be put in game other than uh, uh, doors that you could shoot through and fly through when they're closed or like the energy field and whatnot. Yeah. It's the field vehicle port field like well, in uh, Star Trek. Well, um, actually, it's, it's, it's interesting. I don't know if this is what you were thinking about, but I saw a post up on Reddit recently asking for Colored plex doors, hardened plex doors, plex door wedges, plex door, you know, basically plex doors in yeah. every shape, and also a plex door with a security been, key. Actually. Yeah, it might have been yours. Plex doors with a security key, was that in there as well, or did somebody yeah. else add that? Somebody suggested that in comments. As yeah. far as a security key, yeah. that could be as simple as a security <laughs> block that goes next to the door, like a permissions module, yeah. that basically says, with that there, a code is that can only be entered by the owner of the ship or the yeah. faction of the ship. It has to be code has to be entered uh, to unlock to permission the door. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Just a little UI. You type one, two, three, four, five, and you're in. Because everyone knows that's the uh, combination an idiot keeps on his briefcase. Actually, it's one, 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 one. <laughs> but anyway. Zero, 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 zero. 
Uh, mine was a space Wait, baller reference, so I think I uh, win. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> and I did catch the original Spaceballs joke. But yeah, um, there are plenty more updates to the game, of course. There's the mass optimization to entities, like now we're going to get thousands of ships. It's disgusting, in fact. Well, maybe not thousands, but definitely more than we've got now. Um, I did a little video on it. I don't know how many of you have tried it out yet. Um, what I understood of that particular bit of the update is the overall memory use per ship has been reduced. Yeah. So the bigger the ship, the, easy, the easier it is on the server. Right. Obviously, smaller sh ships would have even less of an impact, and there could be even more of them there. Have we talked about the new player model yet? Uh, no, not yet. No. Mm -hmm. So then, let us. Reactions? Mm -hmm. Animations? Um, very eagerly anticipating this because I love the new player model as a whole, plus the manipulator you get and how the player model treats the pistol. Yeah, definitely. For the purposes of, from my point of view, just shooting stuff in third person is going to be so much more epic now, because especially when everyone's got the pistols out, and it's going to look great. It all, I've done a few like little testing shots, and it looks great. Like, stick them up, right? Yep. And uh, like I say, I really like the running animation, but I think that it should actually make you move faster. At the moment, you just move really, really fast, and you don't really move any faster. <laughs> so it looks well, a bit like... Well, if you want to move slower, just hold down <clears throat> shift. Well, uh, basically, it's the opposite of build mode, where you hold, hold shift and you move faster. In astronaut mode, you hold shift, you go slower. Uh, okay. Well, maybe I was doing it the wrong way around, but I managed to get him running, but he wasn't running. Maybe I don't manage to do something funny. Um, other thing is, we haven't seen the helmet yet, so that's going to be interesting when it finally comes. Yeah, I'm holding off on all skin production for the new player model until we actually get the helmet. Yep. Anybody else? Helmet? Hey. Lord helmet? <laughs> Anybody else got anything to add? So weapon. Oh yeah, of course. How could we I forget like the, weapon. the new yeah. weapon system? Do we get no, they, they have different type missiles, but they don't have photonic weapons. What do you mean photonic weapons? He, he wants torpedoes. phasers and photon torpedoes from Star Trek is what he wants. Well, Wait, mother of God. Lord. No, no, we're, we're getting lasers with so, like the phasers. A laser is not a like... phaser. No, a laser yeah. isn't a phaser. Um, the huge difference. Um, yeah. One thing that's interesting the about the new weapon system is, is that mm. second, you, okay, right now we have, um, five weapon types, right? Yep. That amounts to 25 one weapons. Eye. When Schema adds just one more, that goes up to 36 possible weapons, and another one, 42. It's an infinitely expandable system. Yes. And I think that's probably what's most exciting about it for the coming years of StarMade. Yeah, good view, good point, man. Yeah, it's an expandable that is system, be a nice thing. and this combined with the new uh, system they have for you know skins, texture packs. Yes. More and more, this is opening the game up to modding in a sense. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So if you can base like a texture pack is just telling the game to load different files instead of another set, right? Yeah. So if it be, if that could be adapted to modding in the future. That'll make it a lot easier than the old system they had with Minecraft, where you had to open up the jar, yep. put them in the jar, file at a time, and you had to totally wipe it if you wanted rid of it. Right, because more assets are remotely stored and open to being modded. Because I must admit, exactly. in fact, just as a side note, if anybody's watching this right now and you haven't checked out the NAS server, North American StarMade server, they currently run a modded server which has got a lot of custom blocks. You have to download a little mod pack. Um, and they've got, you know, for example, many more custom coloured hulls and things like that. So, uh, you know, it's really interesting and you've got to go check that out if you're a... Because, like I say, StarMade comes with a custom mod block editor uh, just out of the box. So, you know... I fiddled with that. I made pink cactuses. Nice. Nah. <laughs> I made a green screen block. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That was great. 
Yeah. But uh, in the end, I think I went with just changing the entire of space to bright green. <laughs> I think that, that worked better in the end. <laughs> but, One of um, the earlier examples of this that showed up on Reddit and the StarMade community was as um, people made some multicolored glowstone blocks. That was the first use ah, of the custom block editor. Yeah, because we all like glowstone. Or like ice, glowstone crystal. Glowstone. ice crystal. Ice crystal, yeah. yeah. Ice. But uh, yeah, ice so... But yeah, looking at that new weapon system, it'd uh, be interesting to see the mine layer, because that is going to be a completely new weapon system that we haven't seen yet. What I'm more interested in is how the actual weapon system is going to be implemented. Is it going to be the same particle-based system that we had from before, and we're basically going to see a mine that just sits in space, you know, like a rocket that doesn't move, uh, like we have now? I've... Or are, is it going to be all new effects? I hope they add effects, like sort of a, you know, uh, similar to the Pulsator system for the mm. big explosions. Yeah. So you can have like a nuclear blast in space and battles that were more epic. But um, I think with the mine layer system, if I understand it correctly, it will be similar to undocking a single explosive core in essence. Oh, that's brilliant. So there will be an entity. What's exciting about this is not only does it open up for the concept of mines, but also bombers. Do you know what? If that's how it is, then that means that uh, disintegrators could have their property uh, modified because obviously there's going to be many little BP things BP. with varying power. Well, yeah, because that's the, that's the thing, really. Uh, mine yeah. layers could be used for bombers and excellent. Yeah, um, I have a feeling that with this new mine layer block, mine layer block, the disintegrator mines that we've built up till now are more or less going to go the way of the archaic World War One era deep sea mines. Well, yeah, they're already useless so now. Cool. I mean, to be honest, they're very, they're touchy already. The only thing that they're good for is those big capital space mines I've seen rip mate that recently. Because I've noticed they don't load in until, you know, if you're traveling at full speed, it doesn't even, it's too late. Yeah, <laughs> you've already hit it. <laughs> And, uh, uh, you know, unless you've got a lot of shields, because of the fact that it hits you, collides, and bounces about like all hell, you actually end up colliding with a lot of, of explosive. <laughs> and it, it, I think it might even go through shields, I'm not sure. Which, uh, to redo my mind layer. It reminds me. I'll have the to you guys to uh, help me do a 10 shrooms test. Oh, yeah. We're just trying to find that 10 shrooms blueprint. I've got it somewhere, but you know, with all of the upgrades and downgrades, it's probably gotten lost somewhere. I've still got it. But yeah, so uh, I'm myself awaiting for the beam lasers. I can't wait to see what that's going to look like. Um, be interesting oh, to see what colour they are. I'm going to. All the colours of the rainbow. I'm going to go with yeah. white. White yeah, is my they're prediction. They're either going to be white or the same colour as AMCs are now. Yeah. Which is also white. Yeah. I've seen blue tints in them. Occasionally. When they get um, really fat. Yeah, you can just imagine a, a turret with a pulse laser on a dreadnought, all of those turrets firing. If so, I understand it right, the, the, uh, the beam weapon system is going to... It's not going to work like the current beams we have now, you know, like uh, salvage lasers. Yeah. It's going to pulse per impact it has and per tick with a set rate of fire. And what, so it'll throb? Yeah. So it'll throb? A better way to describe it is it's going to draw the beam in question, but it's not going to be a constant beam. It's going to redraw it every time it fires. Indeed. So it would essentially be like an AMC, but with a salvager beam. It's a ray gun. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I've already seen salvages kind of work like that already when you're salvaging planet. Because if you can't quite reach it and you're moving around, I've noticed that the beams, only, if you've got like a wedge of beams, like a wall of beams, only the ones that have a target fire and they kind of like ch -ch -ch -ch. So I'm guessing it'll be similar to that then. And but that makes me suspect that all of the stuff which we're getting, which is new, will be made with what we already have somehow. That's exactly what it's going to be. The combat beam weapon that we're getting is being more or less written off of the existing beam utilities, I guess would be a good word for it, that we already have. Well, if that's the case, I'm all for it because I don't, you know, I like the way the game looks already. You know, <clears throat> if they started putting in like giant green, 
crazy zigzagging lasers and stuff. I mean, it might maybe it would be good, maybe it would be bad. I don't know. <laughs> no, that gun. Nothing too crazy. Or well, who knows? Maybe, maybe something crazy. <laughs> All right, on to the next weapon that some of you may have forgotten about, but the new missile block system. Yes. Oh, I've been waiting for that for ages. What I understand this missile block doing is its primary description reads, it is a complex projectile compared to, say, a cannon's simple projectile. How I understood it is that we will have a singular weapon block. No heat seekers, no lock-on missiles, no dumb fire missiles, just a single block. So, yeah, yeah. How it will work is we will either have a single computer that we can program with one of the three original traits, or it will be three separate computers with those traits that all work with the same block. Really? I thought you just get one mode off of the one and then you modify it with the other five and or the other four and that no, gives you the more than three. Projectile can be written with what type of lock on it has. Oh Don't right. Fire, heat seeking or otherwise. So there'll be the a new UI. The effects you get are going to be rapid fire, shotgun or swarming, long range, big hulking missiles equivalent to tactical nukes or something that functions similar to a mine but will chase your opponent. Interesting. Mm. Oh, and also I really like the change to pulse computers even though they won't have the push. It's nice to see them being used to smart bombs. Because that's a cool weapon. Agreed. That's another possible weapon candidate for bombers. Not just mines. And freighters. Oh yeah. A defensive perimeter, essentially. Yep. Be oh, interesting to mine, see how though. big it can get, though. Um, since we can't the, uh, mines, do I they... get the feeling we're going to find out really fast. Since we can't yeah. 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 Really, uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. We'll be doing. <laughs> You'll be rebuilding it. <laughs> You'll be rebuilding it soon, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it. I'd like to see a ballistic test on it as it is. Because ships, that's the thing with refitting. No worries. That that's the thing with all these new weapon systems. What I love the most about it is that. The only real change is you're going to have to remove some missile blocks. Other than that, I mean, my suspicion is that what we're going to do is we're just going to be going C on the weapons computer and then C on the beam laser computer and that's it done linked. And I reckon the one you link it to, it, it, you know, you, the one you select first will be the master. And the one you the one you link to the one you hit V slave, on will be the slave. Do not put any of the slave weapon blocks down, just the master and, blocks. And and if that is the case, all you have to do is select a cargo hold in your ship, make a big old dirty group of beam lasers or whatever you want to choose, and link it to your existing cannon without changing anything. That's my suspicion. I don't know if that's true. It's pure speculation. Uh, if it was the if it was that way, it would be epic because, like I say, most people have like an interior which they could give up for the purposes of trying out their stuff, you know, refits. So it'd be I'm, interesting. I'm building a section of my station purely for these new weapon systems to test how they're going to function. That's interesting. You're going to dock them up, are you, and test them one by one? Yeah, they're going to be docked as turrets, and I'm yeah. even going to build them a firing range. <laughs> nice. I'd love to stop by when you get that done. Has anybody else I've got, got uh... all of the future <clears throat> cannon primary bays done? I've just got to finish labeling them and lighting them. Cool. Right. Well. Okay. So I just want to thank everybody for stopping by. Is there anything anyone wants to say before I sign off on this? We are going to have a lot of fun. Sorry. Yeah, we all. Can I? Can I have an idea? It's all for fun and games until so someone shows up in a battle star. Hey. <laughs> 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 what did I do? <laughs> no, they... You said I was talking about you. There's at least four people on the server that own battle stars. I challenge them to murder. That sounds like a concept. Right. It sounds like a yeah. challenge. We'll get them all to fly out to the minus, minus, minus and see how they fare. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It sounds excellent. Yes. Uh, before you do go out, guys, there is yeah. one 
uh, pirate turret floating outside there. Still active. Oh, I'll get it. That's all good. We're right then, so thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we'll be doing this again soon, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, see you all soon. I'm going to put some links in the channels to some of the guys that were here for their, their channel links in the description. So yeah, cheers again. And I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.